Hey guys, this is Yoga Pose of the Week number 26. Such a high number. <laughs> We're doing Frog Pose this week. I can't believe I haven't covered this one already. It's an incredible hip stretch. It's very uncomfortable for many, um, but it's incredibly important. Um, yeah, it really deeply opens up and stretches the hips. It's often uncomfortable because it can even bring up emotional aspects in how tight and how much we carry in the hips there. It's, so it really opens up the hips and the inner thighs and there's actually two variations I'm going to show you. One is more of a quad stretch. So, all right, let me show you both. So I'll, I'll show you them from the side and the front. The first one, the hip opening one, you want to get on your hands and knees and you want to walk your knees as far apart as you can. You might only be able to get here and you want to turn your feet out. So if this is as far as you can go, that's fine. If you cannot go any further, then just you want to come down to the ground. Just keep your, you want to keep your butt in line with your knees. You don't want to come forward and you don't want to press too far back. So you want to lower the chest. And you can open it up into frog arms or just keep your hands in. But if you can go deeper, go farther, and the longer you hold it too, you'll be able to widen your legs more and more. So just keep scooting the knees further apart from each other with the toes. Your feet, you're going to be on the sides of your feet here, big toes down towards the ground. And you want your ankles and your knees to be in line. You don't want your feet to be way out wide. They can be in if you need to. You can touch your toes, but you don't want them to be out wider. You want to try to get them knees over ankles, knees in line with the ankles, and just get your knees as wide apart as possible. And keeping the butt in line with the knees, down, and just to feel the stretch. You breathe into it, and as you hold it, you might be able to, it might start to feel easier, so you can widen the knees more. All right. Let me just show you from this angle, in case it's hard to see. This is a hard one to photograph well, or to video well, so just want to make sure that you can get a full visual appreciation for it, so that you're totally sure what I'm trying to show you. So again, knees in line with the ankles, spread the knees wide, butt in line with the knees, bring the chest down, you can hang out here, bring the hands forward, you can rest on your palms, you can bring the arms out to a similar position with the legs here. And really be frog like. <laughs> you look a little bit like a <laughs> like a squash bug like this. <laughs> All right, and then you come forward, come out of it, and let me show you the quad version. So now this one, you can do one leg at a time if it's too intense for you. So you're gonna lay on your belly, and you bring. You bend the one knee, come up on your elbow, and now you're going to grab the foot, turn the hand around so that the fingers are pointing the same way as the toes, pointing forward, and your elbow will be up like this. So you don't want to be, even though it looks like it's up like this, it's not. It needs to be pointing straight up. So, hand, fingers point the same way as the toes. And now if you want to stay up on the one leg, Keep the one leg down and straight, press, press down into the foot, really open this quad and lift your chest up. Now, other side. 
And if this feels good, easy for you, like kind of this for me, I have very open quads from lots and lots of stretching. So again, make sure the fingers point the same way as the toes, elbows up. So now you want to do both legs if you're very open. So you're going to press into the feet and lift the chest up at the same time. Oh. So you feel that stretch everywhere. Give those a try. Maybe you haven't tried the quad version, the quad um, stretching variation of frog that I just did last. So give that one a shot if you really can't stand the hip opening one. But work on both. Give both a try. Try it with one leg. Try it. If you have to do frog with your knees pretty close together, that's okay. You need to just start there. It will get easier with practice. Lost the whole thing. You're not, you don't start amazing at yoga and at a lot of these different poses. You practice and your body slowly opens up and unfolds. No one, you can't wake up and just jump into a headstand. And if you can, wow. <laughs> Most people need to practice and that's okay. It's all about the journey. It's all about it's all about what we learn while practicing. It's not about being perfect and looking amazing and you know, it's about how we feel and how it makes us feel and how it makes our bodies feel. All right, so practice. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think and how it works for you, how it feels. And like, subscribe, and share. Please subscribe, help me get to 100 subscribers so I can finally be Jickety Jack here, just like I am on Instagram and Facebook where you can follow me for the latest updates of what's going on with me. And come to jickityjack.com, which I promise I'm updating soon. It's the most wonderful and most hectic time of the year trying to do a lot all at one time, but in the meantime, there are plenty of uh, full length workouts and yoga routines, shorter and longer ones, um, nutrition, fitness, health, recipes, so much more coming soon. The new year is coming, Christmas is coming, the holidays are coming. It's a great time. So I'll see you over there. If you're on Patreon, become a patron for as little as a dollar a month to help me keep making more and more of these videos for you guys. Your support means the world to me. Thank you so much if you can become a patron. I really, really appreciate it. And I am a personal trainer and wellness and fitness coach. So if you want to work with me, if you want to train with me, I have so much stuff coming up that you can get involved in. And we can work together and work out something awesome. I've gotten amazing results from the stuff that I'm doing myself that I am <laughs> coaching myself through. So, you know, the proof is in the pudding. You gotta just give it a try and you'll see how amazing you feel. So, all right, have a good week guys, practice.